second installation for today. We have just arrived. Waiting for them to open the gates. You can hear the sound of generators. So you are going to connect the generator. Oh, God. You are not in your office. Let me also ask you. You can't be behind you. So you can't be behind you. 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 going to be a 5 kilowatt uh, installation with two phases uh, of solar uh, inverter production and uh, we'll be looking to mount at the very top on that roof, that flat roof there. my hope that we'll be able to come down and install our solar gear here. You can see I have already marked out the dimensions there, the dimensions for the out uh, shed. We are going to construct quickly, uh, so this is uh, the plan. It's already got some cover in there under the, under the cantilever. So that's the plan for today. I'm not sure we're going to get through it all, but hey, we're at it. Okay, so we have changed our minds now. We have changed our minds now about situating the power room here. So what we've decided to do, because we need space and it needs to be good, and we don't want it interfering with cars parking as you can see behind me so we're not going to be putting uh, the power here we're going to be putting it up front to the front of the house so we are going to be building a proper powerhouse at the front which will probably take a week so we have uh, deferred this installation we're still going to go ahead and do the roof installation of the panels because that doesn't uh, have anything to do with uh, what's going on down here and the earlier we can get those panels up there the better. Remember, the safest place for panels up on the roof, away from everybody else. So we'll build the power room and I'll keep it updated as the power room progresses. And after the power room is done, we'll come back here uh, and then install the actual solar installation itself next week. So, okay, so that's the end of uh, today. Uh, best laid plans. Okay then, YouTube. So the roof installation took place over five hours. The boys installed these uh, systems quite quickly using a very long railing uh, systems. Uh, we put down 5.3 kilowatt of uh, grade A polycrystalline uh, modules. Brought these in from abroad myself, uh, these particular batch and uh, it was done in two rows of ten uh, in vertical orientation. The boys uh, continue to torment me with vertical orientation because they know I absolutely prefer the horizontal uh, orientation uh, but there you go. The other good thing is that the roof is near flat so the power that's going to be coming from these panels will be absolutely exciting. And having uh, done the schematics for the power room and done necessary measurements, we were able to give that uh, on to our building contractor who does our, our sheds for us and was able to start with the foundation. But the next day, one of the uh, instructions I gave for the foundation was that a 4-inch uh, uh, PVC pipe typical waste pipe should be laid underneath the foundation to come in as you see there in the middle uh, against the fence and that goes under the garden all the way to the house and into an inspection chamber where all uh, the uh, cables from the roof will be going into so you can't even see they'll be going across the garden up into that pipe 
and you will not be able to see uh, any cables. So that's uh, one of the instructions I gave. We took a whole day to finish the foundation. On day two, we um, put some more blocks on top of uh, what we were able to do on day one. And by the third day, we were ready to receive the roof, as you can see. The carpenters were quite uh, uh, fast with their work and they did the roof in one day, which meant that we could um, uh, actually start plastering after the roof was done. And that uh, plastering took uh, a day for the insides and the front, and then the back was done on the day after. As soon as the plaster was dry, the painters came in to paint the insides, uh, two coats, and uh, the finishing touches were put in place, such as the gates, the ceiling, the eaves under the roof, and I put some uh, mosquito nets on both side vents to prevent critters from getting into the building. Um, and we were good to go. On the day before the main installation, uh, one of my electricians came down to throw down the uh, return cables into the PVC pipe inspection chamber thing I described to go to the shed. And we also ran uh, earthing from a new uh, earthing bus bar against the shed and connected it to the distribution boards inside the house. We also connected the PV earthing at this stage. Uh, earth, well, earthing works are absolutely important when you're doing PV systems. If you can't do proper grounding, don't even bother. And you can see here where we have run the earth into the ground by this brick on the right. You can see the main earth conductor going into the ground there. And trust me, it is also connected to the uh, earthing uh, distribution uh, bars uh, within the house which was pre-existing. It was also here that we did system grounding, uh, which we'll talk about later. So you can see the outbuilding we have built. Beautiful outbuilding with vents on both sides. And you can see the roof actually matches the roofing of the house itself very nicely built by my uh, uh, contractor. It's really nice. Metal doors. It's quite secure. Quite secure metal doors there. You can see that. Uh, yeah, it's uh, very well built. Yeah! So nicely, we're not going to put the batteries in. So I'm testing the. We're now going to be testing the uh, the strings coming from the roof to see uh, what's positive, what's negative, the power coming down before we hook it to the combiner box. So yeah, we're progressing. And you can see Mr. Abu there working very hard. There's a gentleman there. You can see him there. Okay, so we know who works hard in this place. So the installation is in full swing and the boys have put up boards and MPPTs and uh, AC boxes. We've also rigged uh, the inverters up and tried to power them up uh, initially. Uh, but uh, we were able to identify that the homeowner's pre-existing 3 kVA inverter had problems and therefore able to talk him out of going forward with it. Instead we put in another 5 kVA inverter to balance the system out. So two 5 kVAs on either side and uh, we've put in here we put in the DC twin DC box. This is the very first time we're using it. Battery! And you can see what we've also done here is that we've got a main uh, earth bus by there that goes straight into the ground to a main earth. 
conductor for this outbuilding. And to this bus bar, you've got everything for all the equipment inside, the self protection, everything goes here, including not just equipment grounding, but also system grounding for DC and AC. Everything goes here. These are going to be a thing of the past. So, batteries are now going in. Battery lights. You can see the combined. So we're almost finished. We're all pretty wired up, but the most important thing is the surge protectors there. 60mm cabling going down to heavy gauge cabling. You see it going through there. Proper earth. Everything done properly. We've got some extra strings here if we need. Positives, negatives. This is a beautiful twin DC box for a dual system. Solar provision. Okay, so we're almost done. We're just connecting inverters and we'll be out of here. So half the team are going off to another installation now. Um, we need to be getting started with that installation ASAP. So I've sent half the team. Uh, ahead to start that installation whilst the rest of us stay just to do finishing touches here as you can see beautiful shed nice side uh, uh, waterproof door yeah, roof and everything is very nicely done yeah. and all the batteries are now in and you can see in there and we are running our, our earth cables going there to the main earth conductor. Yes. So the important thing in solar installation, as you people can now see, is your earthing. Very, very important. Okay. Class 2 SPD. And this is our AC box, which I'm going to be talking about later. It has the class 2 SPD in it. Uh, input breaker, control breaker, switch over, all pre-wired. Um, yeah. So we're just hooking up the inverters now, and we'll be off to join those bus. Well, now, now go again. Henry, now you delay them. No. Now you. So this is the final, final thing. You can see dual inverter set up here. We've got MPPT for the heavy loads of inverter, for the heavy loads of batteries. We've got the solar box, MPPT for the second inverter for the critical loads and 12 batteries. AC box for critical loads, AC box for heavy loads. Battery breaker, desulfator, battery breaker and and hiding there disulfator that's a disulfator for this one battery breaker so it's been a really good installation uh, we'll be coming back here to check uh, how things are going but very neat very nice the other thing you can see is a smoke alarm here and we have advised uh, carbon dioxide fire extinguisher as well. Complete earthing coming out from there, coming down to the main earth bus bar and down into the ground there. And that's for system grounding. The boys are ready to go to the next. Boys, say hello to YouTube. Hello. Hey, it's the main man Abdul.